are making a date loaf today, thanks to Sophie. Thank you for recommending this. You wanted a low sugar, gluten free, kind of healthier for you date loaf. And we really limited the sugar that we put into this. Mm -hmm. And we kind of did a little twist on it that we aren't using honey, but we're gonna be using persimmons and coconut sugars. Yeah, and this is an unrefined mm -hmm. coconut sugar. So let's get putting it together. All right. We so. have our lovely mixer here. And we're just gonna right. go in, begin by creaming the butter and the sugar. The butter and the sugar. You got that? Okay, great. And if you um, don't have a mix master like this, you can totally use one of those hand blenders, it's fine. But you wanna use your paddle attachment, all right? So it's the flat one. Okay. Paddle attachment and then put it in here. Okay, lock just, it up. And we're just gonna cream away. You can put it on high. Not maybe medium, Meg. Maybe medium. Not too high. <laughs> So once that's creamed, we're gonna add one egg. All right, you can leave it running, Meg. That's perfect. Oh, mm -hmm. you don't have to do this. No. I don't have one of these at home, so I don't use this all that often. And it, you can either use a whole orange, or we're choosing to use this orange extract. Give it a nice flavor. What we found is between the orange rind and the orange extract, we kind of like the flavor better of the orange extract. Well, it's just, you can imagine, it's very robust. Yeah, but you can totally use a microplane and do a zest. But we are also using... Or leave it out if you're not crazy about the orange. Yeah, but flavor. we strongly recommend it. All right. Mm -hmm. So now, while that is blending, I'm going to add one cup of the Hychia, and that's this variety of the persimmon. Okay. And these, you want them to be really soft. So like this one's not fully ready yet. You can tell it's not all the way. But they'll get a really dark red color and they're like put it. Totally. It's and they're great for... And it's different than the Fuyu. Right. These ones are the hard you can eat like apples. Right. And it's really great because they get so sweet. So it's a really good alternative to adding a lot of other sugars. So here's the first part of the date is a half a cup of date paste. And all you need to do is take the pit out of the date Whirl it in a food processor. Mm -hmm. And then we're just, just putting this all in. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a half a cup, Meg. Half a cup. Okay, and then while that's working, we've done a quarter cup of orange juice. Fresh, Fresh squeeze. Yep. And we've done it without the orange juice or with the orange juice. Again, you have Both choices. Ways. Okay, so now while that is kind of blending nicely, uh, maybe, that looks good. We can turn that off. We have a cup, let's see, I think it's a cup and a half of just regular Pamela's baking flour, gluten-free. A half a cup of... And we're just gonna start pouring it in. No, first I'm gonna mix it. I wanna blend all my flours together. So I'm gonna blend the one and a quarter cup of Pamela's, a half a cup of the coconut, coconut flour. A, Again, teaspoon, <laughs> a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of clove, mm. a teaspoon really smell, the, smell the spice of cinnamon, Yum. right? And this is uh, a half a teaspoon of the vanilla Tahitian powder that we're loving. Yeah, we're and obsessed with it. You don't have to have that. You can just use a teaspoon of, of the regular vent. Yeah, and then this is fresh nutmeg. I can show them that nut because we're nuts, right? <laughs> and so this fresh nutmeg tastes so much better, everyone, than the powdered version. And this is a teaspoon, and I usually just like put it on this little paper towel, and then it's easy to just kind of put it in, or you can just microplane it. And then I'm gonna take this, mix it all in, mm -hmm. and we're going to slowly add this flour blend into the flour and spice wet. blend with this. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right now. And this is where you, carefully, because this is where it can come back and really So what we love is this very first, if the very first one is stir. So is it on the first one, Meg? Yes. Very first one. And then all we're doing is adding it in. And notice, that's what we love about this machine, this KitchenAid, is that it allows you to actually stir in the flour without poofing back up at you. It still might happen sometimes. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's all mixed in, and then, take this. Mm -hmm. yeah, pull down your sides, 
And then what we're gonna add is a cup of fresh chopped, or you can actually buy them already chopped, pecans. You can use walnuts if you like. And then a cup of the dates just chopped. Oh, this is so good, babes. And these are fun because this is what you're going to get the chunks of when you bite into the loaf when you cut it all up nicely. Absolutely. Look so we it. can stop that right now. This looks, it smells it's, with oh. the cloves and the Fresh orange. Fresh nutmeg and the orange. So here, you want to just wipe that down. It While Meg's looks... wiping that down, I'm going to show wiping you. Wiping it down. I'm just well, you're kind of pulling all of the yeah, bring dough it down. off of it. That's right. So I save the butter. And this is what we're going to grease. You our... saved the butter wrapper that yes. we used that we melted. Right. And then I'm just taking it and I'm greasing my little loaf pan here. Okay. Now, if you don't save it mm -hmm. and you don't have butter, you can substitute any of the butter for coconut oil or you can just spray it. You just want to make sure it's really well oiled. Nice and greased mm -hmm. up. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hold this meg for you and you're going to go ahead and just pluff that all in that loaf pan okay all right and there's lots of different options of loaf pans that you can use this for this bread right so this one this recipe makes one loaf and we've preheated our oven to 350 and so we'll be pretty ready to go Oof. and then what we did Gotta get, it, get all. it all out. That looks perfect, Meg. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna grab this, put it away, and just smooth it out. And while Meg's smoothing it out, I wanna show you all the different loaf pans. You can use this size. You can Small use these little, little mini minis, ones. and these are great for any kind of teacher gifts, gifts for holiday, the postman, the neighbor, your cleaners. These are really great Teachers, little ones. friends. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that's really great is if you have a clay bread We're maker. We're all about, during the holidays, making gifts that you Homemade. can make and give. And this is a really wonderful one. And you can play around with it. Think of this recipe as a template. You can switch it up instead of dates or Pecans, you can add whatever nut you like. Walnuts, maybe add a little chocolate in here. Yogurt chips could be really yummy in here. I, I like the chocolate. That was really good, Meg. Some carob or chocolate. Okay, so now I, you know, after recipe testing all of this, we, I decided that it, it, when you bake it just like this, it's not as shiny and glossy. So all I did is take melted butter, two tablespoons of melted butter, and two tablespoons of syrup right and all i'm going to do is whisk these two together like so and then i'm just going to pour it on the top okay and we'll just take our little brush and paint it over because pegs loves her kitchen tools that's right oh so you like really get a nice little... oh you do because then it seeps in and you don't have to do this part, but it makes it really glossy. Okay, so we are ready to pop this bread into the oven. the oven. The date loaf has been cooling for a good probably 30, 40 minutes, all right? And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a knife and just bring it around the edges. Do it gently so you don't want to pull off the sides of it. Right, and it's pretty, it's nice and cool, Meg, mm -hmm. you know? And so we again cool it on the rack, and then look, it comes out so great. By well greasing your pan. Okay. And you guys can see the top, it's like glistening from all the butter, the butter and the maple and the syrup. syrup. Oh my goodness, wait, this piece right. needs to be eaten. So I'm gonna just cut it in half just so they can see. Here. The center. The center. Look at all of that. You see all the nuts and dates. And oh it's my moist. God, okay, so this, you can either use, you know, just a sharp knife or a serrated knife. And look at this is like such a hearty bread. Oh, it's a great breakfast bread, mm. you know, with tea. And so you can actually serve it with cream cheese on top. Flavor the mm. cream cheese. It is, is it? so yummy. It's so orangey goodness. So for this recipe to share with all of your friends, it's a great gift, everyone. Yeah, especially during the holidays. Yeah. Go to CurryGirlsKitchen.com. <laughs> Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, we're with the Curry mm. Girls, Facebook, constantly posting mm. other yummy wow. holiday recipes. 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you don't already so you know when we make fun videos like this. Happy baking, everyone. Yes, so we are here. Mmm. It is really Thank good. Thank you, Sophie. I know. We love making recipes that you guys suggest, so suggest more. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Moist, orangey, cinnamony goodness. Mm.